everybody out there doing their at-home learning today. I'm actually in my garden taking a quick look at everything that's coming up and starting to bloom. Um, and it got me thinking about an important part of my garden, which are my mason bees. And the mason bees are my favorite kind of bee because they don't have a stinger. And they actually help pollinate all my flowers and my vegetables all summer long and actually all spring too. So we're gonna take a quick look at where the mason bees live. Okay, so this is the mason bees house. Kind of looks like a little house shape and there's little bamboo shoots in there that are cut up and what the mason bees do is they take mud and they kind of like pack themselves in you can kind of see those are ones you can see ones that are packed up tight still and then there are some bees that have come out already like here are a couple up here where the bees have come out already they've already opened up and they're out um, others will wait a little bit more until it gets warmer before they come fully out. So these are daffodils. These are some of the first flowers that the mason bees will see. They're actually attracted to the yellow. Oh, and that's Porchy. She's a little feral kitty that lives in my garden too. Um, it's important that the, the mason bees have flowers when they first emerge because they, they come out of their house very, very hungry. So that's why um, Dandelions are actually really important and the daffodils too because that's some of their first food when they get out of their house. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is draw the three main parts of an insect's body. So we're going to start off with drawing the head. So I'm just going to do kind of like a rainbow line that comes all the way around for the head of the bee. After that, we're going to do the thorax and we're going to kind of make a zigzag line that forms an oval or a circular shape and it can be like messy and off that's okay gives that part of the bee a little bit of texture um, then we're going to drop down with a big U so I'm going to come all the way down and back up for the bee's abdomen okay the next thing I'm going to do is add two compound eyes to the side of their face so I'm going to come around with one and I'm going to come around with another two curve lines. And to make the antenna, we're just going to come with like kind of, I guess it's like an oval shape. And we're going to connect it with another long skinny oval. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So it's symmetrical on one and two. And they could be moving in different directions. That is okay. Um, from here, we're going to add six legs. So I'm going to start just like we did with the antenna, a long skinny oval and another long skinny oval so that they look like the leg is jointed. And then we're going to put some little curve lines on top of that and come out with two V shapes. All of the legs are going to come out of the thorax. So I'm going to come around, down, and the same pattern over again. And that little V shape and one more. One, two, and the little V shape. And I'm going to do the same thing up here. So the front legs will go up. The side leg is going to go out. I'm leaving a little bit of space there so I can put wings in as well. And one more back here. So you have a total of six legs, three on each side. Okay. Once that's done, I'm going to come in and add some stripes to the B. And we want to curve these lines so that the abdomen looks more three-dimensional. It's a curved object, so the lines on it would curve. Okay, and I'm going to come in and add two wings on one side and two wings on the other for a total of four. So I'm going to come out with a curved line and stop. Same thing on the other side. I'm going to come out with a curved line and stop. This side I might fall off the paper a little bit. That's okay. Um, I'm going to come down in with a curve kind of like you're making an uppercase B. And I'm gonna come back in and go into the thorax. Um, this would then make another little line there so we have two separate wings. I'm gonna come in, make a little bump and go in. I probably should have let that fall off the paper because it's really shorter than the other one, but just so you guys can see how to do the other side. 
and then I'm gonna come in. Now, so that we get a little bit of like what a bee's wing actually looks like, we can come in with a few lines, kind of like we're almost drawing branches on a tree and just make some lines within the wings so they look a little bit more realistic. So I'm kind of breaking it up, almost like it looks kind of like broken glass or stained glass. And they don't have to be the same on both sides. They can be a little bit different, that's okay. Oops, I do wanna connect that though. Okay, and to add a little bit more um, detail, we can go on the eye, do two straight lines down the middle a curve line on either side, and then some curve lines on top of that. That makes the eye look a lot more realistic. Now, if you were doing a mason bee, there would be no stinger here, but if you want this to look more like a honeybee, you can put a little stinger on there. Okay, so these are the color pencils I used. I used a brown, black, a yellow, and an orange. And you can see I tried to do some shading techniques with the color, so starting with the yellow and then moving into the oranges on the edge. Um, and also I pressed a little bit harder on the edges um, with my black so it would get a little bit of a 3D effect. To give some visual texture on the thorax, I kind of overlapped some colors with a whole lot of lines so that it would make him look fuzzy. Um, I hope everybody's having a great day. Happy drawing and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.